command. I'd like to ask you something. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> Is Flemeth really what she seems to be? <laughs> well, that depends, does it not? What does she seem to be? A nutty old bed. <laughs> Sometimes I do <laughs> wonder the very same thing. Tell me, how much do you know of the tale? The one that the Chasens still tell of my mother, to frighten them into obedience. Um, I'm more interested in the I truth. I can relay what Flemeth once told me herself, and you can decide whether or not tis the truth, if you desire. That sounds interesting. As the tale is sung by the bards, there was a time when Flemeth was young and beautiful. A fair lass in a land of barbarian men. The desire of any who saw her. Just how long ago was Many this? Many centuries before this land was even named Ferelden. The tales say that Flemeth fell in love with Osin the Bard and fled the castle of her husband, the dreadlord Conobar, and that he swore vengeance for her infidelity. In truth, my mother claims that t'was Osun who was her husband, and Conobar the jealous lord who looked on from afar. Lord Conobar approached young Osun and offered him wealth and power in exchange for his lovely wife, and Osun agreed. He sold his wife to another man. The life of a bard is a poor one, and love fades in the wake of hunger. T'was Flemeth who suggested the arrangement. All would have been well had Lord Conobar kept his end of the bargain. But he was a foul man who bargained with coin he did not possess. Osun was led off to a field and slain, left for dead. Flemeth spoke to the spirits and learned of the deed, and swore revenge. But wasn't she now married to a wealthier man? That was not the point. Conobar had no honor, so she would not have him. Flemeth begged the spirits to aid her, and t'was they who slew Conobar. The demon the legend tells of came later. Lord Conobar's allies chased Flemeth, you see. Chased her to the wilds, and there she hid. There she found the demon, and he made her strong. The legends all speak of the great hero Cormac, he who defeated Flemeth and her great army when she invaded the lowlands centuries later. All lies. Um, which he never invaded or he never defeated her? The truth of the matter is that there was never an invasion. As Flemeth tells it, the Chastened never raised an army under her banner and she never fought with any warrior named Cormac. Cormac led a brutal civil war against his own people and later claimed it was to vanquish evil that had taken root amongst the lords. Thus, he was hailed a hero. Flemeth was only attached to the legend much later. Perhaps it was due to the great war with the Chastened that eventually came, but Mother claims not to know how it began. Do you believe her version? I do not believe everything that Flemeth claims. Often it seems her bitterness has coloured her memories. But on the whole, yes, I believe this tale, if not all. How is it that that Flemeth survived for so the long? The demon within her has transformed her into something else. An abomination, perhaps, some would say. I know not. I only know my mother is clever, and she is part of the wilds as it is part of her. But she is no immortal. She bleeds. A blade in her heart would kill her like any other, were it lucky enough to find her. The legend tells of Flemeth having many daughters. You ask if I have sisters? I have asked of this myself. The stories tell of many witches of the wilds, after all, not just the one. And these tales existed long before I did. Flemeth refuses to speak of other daughters, if they existed. So, should I believe I am her first? I doubt that too. Why would she refuse to speak of them? <laughs> the chastened tell of a falling out between Flemeth and her daughters. They say that one day she hunted them all through the wilds and ate their hearts. Hmm, yep. It may be true. I have never seen another witch or heard of one. Perhaps one day Flemeth will eat my heart as well. Aren't abominations usually insane horrors? How often is this usually? Always? 
If not always, then when is it not true? There are more things in this world and the next than you or I could ever hope to understand. What Flemeth became is a mystery, I suspect, even to her. An interesting story, thank you. Flemeth tells it with far more embellishment than I, but you are welcome. Dare I ask of your own mother? Few are abominations of legend, tis true, but I find myself curious nevertheless. My mother died, recently in fact. Oh, then you have my sympathies for what it is worth. Which is very little, I am certain. It matters not. Let us move on. <laughs> okay, let's just... Uh, Alistair, I think, is the only one left. And then we can move on. What do you need? I'd like to ask you something. Ask away. Okay, I don't want to ask you anything. Oh, that sucked. My dog! Yay! <gasps> you good little boy. Yes, he is. He's got like this huge feet. Look at that. It's huge. Okay, bye bye. Um, what what we're we gonna do now? Um. Oh yeah, I still have to do that. I'm gonna do that later. And that's for later as well. Uh, that's also later. Also later. Uh, what's that? Blah blah blah. Seeing man. That's for later as well. <laughs> We're going to um this one. The mages. And who am I going to take? Well this is kind of hard. Uh considering this quest has everyone in this group has different opinions about it but because it's uh, well you'll see when I play it but um, I'll take the dog because he doesn't have an opinion uh, uh, Morgan I guess oh, no, maybe not Morgan uh, Liliana for sure I'll just take Ogren I don't know if this is good, but um, and that's Lake Callum had. I will also do Ogden's quest straight away then. Loading, fight or what? <clears throat> dum dum dum. Oh, oh, video. Okay. <gasps> oh, is this who I think I it is? Words. There are oh, yes, yes, from yes. The Banon, We're gonna meet someone new. From the Regency. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. They are I'll said be to be gathering out. their forces, as are your allies. It appears it will be civil war after all, despite the Darkspawn. Pity. I also have an interesting report. There seem to be Grey Wardens who survived Ostagar. How, I don't know. But they will act against you. I have arranged for a, a solution. Sorry. With your leave. <laughs> the Antivan Crows send their regards. An assassin. Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> and the most expensive. Just get it done. He doesn't look too happy, does he? Okay. <laughs> okay, we just... That was the video. Keep that in mind. Ah! Why do I always feel like I need to shout with them? Not just to take this. Oh, wait. This is... Hey, what stupid wolf? Oh, wait. I... Okay, did Liliana just die? Stupid woman. Well, 
long run, you're being really stupid. So why? Why did you just? Why did you run all the way over there straight away? I just left. Come on, she's almost dead. Oh great! Stop! Don't kill him. What? Why not? He is no common bandit. You're None supposed to be were. dead. <laughs> Their weapons and armor are of fine make, and they are well trained. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Who are you? <laughs> Someone who regrets taking you on. I was told it would be an easy job. Kill the little red-haired girl. Deal with the others as we pleased. Kill the... You came to kill me? You know, it's funny because the game does not think you would play as a little red-haired girl. Which I obviously am, if you can see. But yeah. Who's trying to kill Eliana? I don't pay to ask why someone wants someone else dead. I just need to know what to do and where to get my money. Ha! Money. I'll be lucky to get away with my life, it seems. Maybe we can work something out. You like the idea? Speak quickly. I've no real quarrel with you. It wasn't me that wanted you dead. But I know how you can find the one who does. Your life for information, then. I have some directions <laughs> written down on how to get to the house. It's in Denrim. Yeah, it's the best I can do. Thank you. Now leave. I never want to see you again. Yes, go. Be grateful for your life. Don't worry. I'll not trouble you no more. Well, we didn't kill everyone, did we? Marjolaine. It has to be. I thought you had escaped from her. I thought the same. Maybe someone saw me. Maybe she's finally found me and wants to finish what she started. We should go to dinner room to confront Perhaps her. Perhaps it's time to settle this score for good. Yes, it is. Why did you grab your weapons again? Let's just go. Um, where the hell is the exit? Oh dear. <laughs> yes. Loading, 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 we're here. Okay, this is Lake Callanhead. Do you and see that's the tower? The... the view from the top must be spectacular. Okay, yeah, so that's the tower. It's kind of huge, isn't it? But okay. First of all, we will go in here. Because that's where uh, Falsy is, the girl of Rod, who Ogren was talking about. There she is. I'm gonna go talk to her. <laughs> Look, you gotta back me up here. Got it? She's not a Genlock. You can handle her on uh, your own. You haven't met her, I take it. How dangerous can she be? Uh, we parted company under <laughs> less than friendly terms. What do you mean by she that? Threw me out of her house and tossed all my clothes into uh. a lava vent. Threatened to take a pair of smithing tongs to... Well, you get the idea. <laughs> she always was cute when she was angry. Maybe I should go talk to her first. Find out how much she misses old Ogren or who I have to kill. And then I'll go sweep her off her feet. That's me. <laughs> Mr. Charm. The way he said that was disgusting. Sorry. Okay, that's Felsy over there. What can I get for you? And don't say mead. We ran out of that a week ago. And don't say rum either. Ran out the day before yesterday. And don't say brandy. When did you run out of brandy? Oh, we haven't yet. It's just terrible. We got it from a shady Orlesian trader, and I think it might really be turpentine. Felsy! I need tables clean, girl! I've got a customer. 